Bam. 15 seconds, I should probably sit here and wait for 10 seconds, huh? Yup. Longest three seconds ever. Alright. Probably about to do a boss fight with that cat dragon thing. Griffin, maybe? Oh, I see it's a perch. An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about. Alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Knight. Ah, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominata. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes. That's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete. Or will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Luffy said. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings, too. Weak as they are. That's why I must fly. Now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? The Twelve-Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lars. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Don't talk to me about will! About wings! Both of you! Together! You... You betrayed me! Oh, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Shut up! He fell further than this back at the shrine. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lafayette! Lafayette knew so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believe it! Die! Disgusting monster! 
What is this thing? An amalgamation of multiple demons? It doesn't matter what it is! I'll devour it until it's dead! Oh, hey, the fight has started, eh? I should probably stop fighting in the other window and pay attention to this. It looks like they're doing zero damage. If this is... Oh, okay, can be hurt. Beast amorphous fire. Stop it. Stop it. Come here. Why will you not miss the card? Raving Loon. my souls, so just gonna try to keep mental track. Got a cat ass in the way. I think I'm only at two now. Okay, it should be three. On the block. Ooh. Really hope I'm not on the verge of death. I cannot see my life bar, my souls, or my PG gauge. Can't see laugh of sets either. I didn't see any big hits hit me except that one for a thousand. I have like 2k left. Thank you, honey. Fuck out of the way. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Close to the halfway point. You start throwing real moves at me. No idea what this purple thing with the nine next to it means. Right in his face seems to be the safest place to be. Don't be ignored, Dan. Away from my aborted nephew. Deal with that. Nice 
Infernal Torrent! And down! Infernal Torrent! Infernal Torrent! Infernal Torrent! Souls all over, you fuckers better not pick them up. Of course. Kitty, move. Kitty, come on. You really like that spot. I feel like uh, it's because she sees I'm looking at that spot a lot, so she's like, I want to be where you're looking. That means I'm back to counting souls. My count is right, I think I'm at three. Health, I have no fucking clue. Same with my Mystic Art Meter. Let's see if I can theorize. Oh. I was expecting it to fizzle, but since he gave me an extra soul... Now, okay, now let me Theranize. Yeah, it's not let man must have two souls. Ooh, maybe I can miss the guard. Nope, not let me miss the guard either. Of course, that doesn't. No, I'm gonna say that doesn't mean I don't have it. It just means it's not letting me. Oh, now you move. He's about to die. Huh. I was expecting to have like no life left. really figured out the mechanics of what his perfect defense thing was, but I, don't know. I guess I didn't have to figure it out. is the true face of my sister. <sighs> she hates, resents, devours, and kills. She tramples people, cities, everything, living only by her emotions. What an ugly, tainted soul. It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Just think. Everything I did was baseless. Arrogant. And even so, I still... You hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet, you didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. I... ate her! And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. That's why I chose to become a sacrifice. For you, sister. But think, 
If you try to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes. It was all for nothing and for no one. I hurt so many people, all for no reason. I'm a monster. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. Once I eat the final two malevolences inside you, I'll fully awaken. Give them to me. Give me your hatred, your despair. If you do, I can cleanse this world of all its pain. You didn't get despair from the girl who lost her mother or the mother who lost her kid? And sadness. But you're a monster now. You don't belong there. <sighs> What sin did you get from a dung beetle? Beetles have simple brains, they can't have complex emotions. Let me go. I have to go. No! If you don't, you'll die too for no reason. No! A twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry, I'll devour you too. Luffy said, tell this self absorbed idiot what she needs to hear! Please, let me go. Will you stop whining? Huh? No, I don't understand! You snap! people you're scary you you tried to eat me but you're also kind and you're filled with life i don't understand a single thing about you <sighs> but you gave me a name when i was a number you gave me that compass you taught me what it meant to be alive that's why I care about you, Velvet! I'll protect you for my own sake! Fee... I thought Goku's in fact Arthur let his unborn son just be called number two. Power of aborted <laughs> nephews. A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. I finally understand how you felt. But the only one I can fight for is myself. That's good enough. That's proof that you are truly alive. Is it though?
Because that made sense. How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Magilu? We're on a hundred and seven. Who was it a hundred and eight? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? <laughs> like you, I suppose. Or that boy over there? <laughs> that is the foundation of an ideal world. One free from man's sins. <laughs> An ideal world, huh? Sins are the only fun part of life. You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Laffy said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. We didn't go to any desert. Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world. <gasps> so you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest, over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure. Gosh, funny just how little I care. No, please! Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Just lie to him, say yeah, Inominat's dead. I Stop did. with him. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, they're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Mm -hmm. Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought! It is your destiny to wallow in despair! You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too? Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up. Not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? None shame. 
Zero fucks given. <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a bet and I've got some anger to work out. You sure you can fight in your condition? Who do you think I am? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magi Lu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magi Lu Maven! Fools, all of you! Fear oh, me! Win. Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah! You horrible imprint! See? Stabbed in the chest, that's all you give me! You can't be shit, kid. I want to grab the soul, but I don't want to get away from this guy and give him a chance to cast a spell. I'm closer to it. Oh, that was pretty ineffective. What the? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why did he do that? Because he's out of the picture. Wind. Just into the shit I was trying to hit him with. Let's set up some wind for you. But he has two. Uh, combo works as is. Blast away the 
Assume he's gonna summon nine free at some point here. That's when the real fight will begin. He hit me with that one and doesn't do any damage. Start doing things that actually hurt. Apparently, he enrages at a quarter life. Oh, 
It is distracting. I keep thinking it's Lafacet and he's gonna get hurt. Even though I've been using him in that Norman costume for however fucking long. You know by now. You target me when you use that move. Premature on that revive. Almost got hit by it twice. Disgraceful. <laughs> right into it. What? I wasn't in that. No, nothing. Suck me in. That little life left too. What a pain in the ass. Souls on the ground. Fools! All of you! Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah. You are a boy and brave. See? Stabs in the chest, that's all you give me. This is unknown. Does it mean he's not a Malachine? He causes you to take half damage and use a random finisher. Probably try to build up souls by smacking him around. Probably shouldn't use my mystic guard on him either. But the opportunity was there. I had to. Did you do the thing already? Oh, I'm not landing clean heads, that's why. 
No mercy! Wounds I won't heal! Find me! Lethal Go. play! Punish! Devour! Even at the hard part yet. I'll be on the floor. into that. that got the not working out of the system when he starts using his ultimate move. Let me use it. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Theranos didn't work. Theranos! 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 Come on! You can do it! I'm not a chicken. Nobody calls me chicken. I said I'm not a chicken. Fucking prick. Did that not kill me? Seems to be right on top of me. I'm not complaining, I'm just didn't make sense. There was no, no nothing. There's no thing displayed. Fools, all of you. Fuck. Hydro Storm is fucking bullshit. Of course they make you get through this. Wait, what the fuck just killed me? This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah. Busy bitching, they didn't see what happened. Stabs in the chest, that's all you give me. I'm wasting a life bottle on this part of the fight, so. You res me or we die. Death it is. Welcome if you got him. Getting this guy out of the way quickly is probably for the best. I got you! 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 I got you!
from the car. Ah! 
Still not theronizing. Come on. Don't do that shit in the critical part of the fight. And I was lucky that he got juggled through that whole time, but I'm not gonna be that lucky next time. To fly out. Because I saw a wrong leak. piece of shit. Find your peace in death. No. It's not in the circle and it drug me in. That move is such bullshit. Fools, all of you. Hello everyone. Sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is all way of saying we trust you. What are you even swinging at? Just kidding, I'm giving some attention. I'll play one handed. Can't really block one handed, so that's a problem. Mm, this won't block. I'm gonna use my hand for a second, honey. I'm even missed the guard. Glad that went off in one. There you go. Rub your little belly. I don't really need to pay attention until the last quarter of his life, anyways. To that effect, I'm gonna try to remember to go into the last quarter of his life prepared. Try to build up some souls and some uh, mystic meter. The only part where he's killing me. Everything else doesn't hit that hard. Come on. Won't let me miss a guard. Or not miss a guard, but uh, Theranize. Still not letting me. Come on! Oh, 
Why is it not responding? Why is nothing responding? There we go. That's freaky. Alright, kitty, I need my hands. Or shit gets real. You look like you're ready to go into attack mode anyways. You only rub a cat's belly for so long before they want to kill. Even if they're offering it up. Yeah, I know your tricks. That didn't stun me. Internal 
Obnoxious on purpose, aren't you? Oh, cats. I think they own the place, and they're right. in the last two of those. Fucking that one too. And that one. Oh, that one it actually fucking blocked. Really bad itch. I have to get it. Uh, just out of reach on my back. Got it. <laughs> Stretches just to itch my back. <laughs> oh, come on. Not a toy, young lady. Get away. Cat decided she wants to be a new Holocene. We're getting close to that quarter marker. How do, how do you block all the- except the last hit? Didn't activate it, but okay. Sure, why not? About time to start hitting it anyways. 
You thought I'd stop there. Annihilating? That was definitely in the range after that. Oh, lucky. Let's work you guys, it's not letting me. There we go. Are you standing there doing jack shit? So at least throw one of these on me. All right, looks like that plan worked out for me. Tell Artorius and Inomi not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history <laughs> yeah, no. are stained with evil people like you. You spread havoc and destruction, all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord, the irredeemable embodiment of sin. He's chaotic, lord good. Of calamity. It is the exorcist's duty to destroy you. You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where I freed is? You'll regret this. I can feel he know me not. He's coming. Yeah, we can fight here no longer. Bienfu, close the rift. I can't. Come forth. <laughs> oh, I don't get the fight I freed. Carelessness will get you killed. Zavid. <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean, thanks for saving us, Savid? You're my hero and role model? Thank you for saving us, Savid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra-dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now, but I busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. The VDX Machina? Uh. Who's that? A friend. His name is Number One. Hit him in the head. Hey, want to come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah. That sounds scary. Great. Come on, kid. What are you doing? We can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel, somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. Why is Aizen acting all huffy about it? He's the one who's all about freeing people, especially Tethered Mally came. Out of his character to be like, uh, fuck this. Look at cause he can get behind. It's just two? I just want to was three. The show up. You seem awfully chipper, Velvet. I'm fine. 
And I guess I have you to thank as well. Perhaps. But gratitude doesn't suit you. Now, say ah. Uh. Huh? I need to see your teeth. I made a hundred gold bet that you'd break, remember? So, I need to see if you've broken anything. Let's start with those teeth. Help us out, kiddo. All right. I just need to check our front teeth, right? Front teeth, canines, whatever. Just get in there and take a good hard look. You didn't mean that literally, did you? Why are you making me do the checking? Acting the innocent maiden, are we? Well, I suppose that some say that showing me inside of your mouth can be more personal than being seen naked. What? Seriously? I don't believe anyone's ever said that. You're only making this even more awkward. Come now, will you cooperate or not? We can't settle the bet until we know the tooth. Fine. My sister's Let's a dental hygienist. I guess she's a whore. First. Good. I believe Bienfu can assist with that. My other sister is a stripper, but the dental <laughs> hygienist is a real whore. Lead me out of this! <laughs> she's squeezing me! Ouch! Those fangs hurt! <laughs> Looks like Velvet is just fine. Yeah, the sparks returned to her eyes. But, uh... Is showing the inside of your mouth really that embarrassing? What? Keep your intrusive questions to yourself! Look in my mouth, I don't give a shit. The size of the art that created this place. Just what is the Abbey planning to use it for? Whatever it is, they're trying hard to keep it hidden. Can't be anything good. Fucko. And things that were in Titania, so I don't need to fight them. Hey, who was that kid anyway? He and I used to be tethered to an exorcist named Lady Teresa. He was number one, I was number two. Oh, -ho, a friend of yours then. So he went feral after that Teresa lady fell. Yeah. I found Velvet and the others, but he probably had nowhere to go. A stray Moloch stripped of his free will won't go much further than a demon's belly. Anyway, it seems like the only people I run into these days are kids. I'm more in the market for an unattached woman with a pretty face. Um, sorry? <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Grow a sense of humor, kid. Anyway, relax. I'll keep an eye on him until he's in command of himself. Which again. you could make right? happen instantly with the gun you have. The Abbey down. Right. Thanks, Savid. Which in this game it seems to have unlimited shots. Did not in Zestiria. Guess it's running out of ammo by that time? What? Zestiria is way in the future, so. Guess he eventually runs out of ammo. Luffy said, can you think of a good name for the kid? You're giving number one a name? Yeah. He says he can't remember his true name, and calling him by a number seems mean, you know? Yeah. I was really happy when Velvet gave me my name. Hey, I've got this. It's How about Hajime? It means the first, and he's number one, right? In that case, why not just go with Ichiro? No way. That was Shigure's childhood name. Why should that matter to us? It should be softer. How about Ichi? Or maybe something like Numbi? Numbi? Where'd that one come from? It's like number, but uh, more cute. Let's just forget that one. 
I don't think we should reference his old number at all. Um, how about Bob? Uh, is that just because of his hairstyle? That's really reaching. Actually, I kind of like it. If it's too plain, how about Bobby? Hmm, that isn't bad. Right? Then number one is hereby renamed... Stop it, you two! You don't understand it at all! A boy doesn't want a name that sounds cute! You... you don't think so? That was quite an outburst. Doesn't want a name that sounds retarded <laughs> like a lot of said either. Point. Need something with more panache. How about Silva? Silva? Anderson? His hair and pendant are both silver. I like it. It's got a certain mystique about it. Silva! But does he know Brazilian yeah, Jiu-Jitsu? It sounds cool! Well, if his old buddy Laffy said approves, then Silva it is. Well done, first mate. Praise from you is wasted on me. Huh. <laughs> then consider it praise from Silva instead. Right! Time to go give him the good news. Hey! The Moloch formerly known as Number One! You've got a new name! I'm glad he got a good name. Maybe we should have put a little more thought into naming you, too. That's alright. You need to steer your own ship. Right, Aizen? You're the one who taught me that! <laughs> you know just what to say, don't you? Moloch, formerly known as Number Two. <laughs> uh, I've got a good name for him. Abortion. Because he's an abortion that is somehow still living. Mogilu, what were you up to while we were lost in the Earth Pulse? I was ringing the bell. The rift was open the whole time. Couldn't you hear me? I don't remember hearing any bells. She was fighting with Lord Melchior. She really gave it her all. Bianfu, don't give him the wrong impression. But you endured so much. It was... it was so moving. Yes, yes, I did endure. It was so hard not to laugh. Did the old man tell you a joke or something? It was a staring contest, and oh, the faces that old man can make. I kept picturing him as a young man, but with that same wrinkled face, and it was so hard not to crack. <laughs> I needed to keep myself in check. My desire to laugh was only broken by the ringing of the bell. Clang! Crash! What a thrill! Wait, was that the only thing that broke Mogilu? Are you asking if he broke my heart? Like I'm fishing for sympathy? That's not what I meant at all! You stood watch over the Earth Pulse Rift for us. I didn't say that. Stop trying to give me a participation medal. Just take it. After all, you don't care either way, right? True that. You're going to move if I get into a battle, honey. You are in a critical spot. I'm going to start moving your ass. It doesn't look like anything. Just walk past that. Paid no mind. A dragon! It looks like it's been captured. Just like the Therians. But why would they hold a dragon captive? Hmm. An art connects this place to the Earth Pulse. That's probably why we were taken here. Earth Pulse. So it's got something to do with Enominot? That would be the obvious conclusion. I don't get it. Explain. Small words. Very well. You're part of all this, too. Mm. Velvet. I'm fine now. I promise. All right. I see. You found out Inominat's true identity. So, now that you know, can you still fight him? It's only given me more reason to kill him. And the Shepherd. You're one ice-cold girl. There's still one thing bothering me. Inominat needs to eat malevolence to awaken. Once he does, he'll use his power to suppress negative emotions. But when humans can't create any more malevolence, what will happen to Inominat? He'll run out of things to eat. And maybe die? Hmm. Wouldn't he just go back to sleep? But if he does, then his power will fade and humanity will start creating malevolence again, right? In order for Inomi not to eternally suppress negative emotions... He needs an infinite, powerful source of malevolence to feed off of. For example, that produced by an immortal dragon. 
Which would make this place a sort of dragon farm, created so he could control humanity forever. You can't be serious! Just speculation, but it all makes sense. They can't think of Malakim as anything but tools. Just how much will they sacrifice for their ideal world of tranquility? <sighs> what was it that I believed in all that time? The image I'd built of the Abbey is crumbling from the bottom up. Please cheer up, Madame Eleanor! You'll make me depressed, too! Is this about the dragon farm? Yes. I strongly doubt even the Abbey has the power to manipulate dragons so freely. Then that dragon... Wasn't a dragon before it came here? That's the natural assumption. They probably brought the Malakir as a captive, then turned him into a dragon. Just like Melchior did, eh? Is there no line they won't cross? I don't know what to say. It's not your fault, Madame Eleanor. But spawning dragons in addition to Therians... Do you think they'll figure out a way to make humans, too? Yes. Wait, that's awful! I can't believe you went there! Uh. <gasps> we don't dare free it. It'd be too dangerous. I know. Damn the Abbey and their twisted morality. Free it on our way out. This whole realm's already kind of a trap. Why well, have it trapped within the trap? Ghost elephant. Velvet? What is it? I was once your sister's child, right? Then my father is... Look, you were reborn, right? Yeah. Honestly, I really don't know anything about how being reborn works. But to me, what you see, what you hear, and what you feel, that's what's important. Whoever we used to be in another life, I'm me now, and you're you. That's all there is to it. Velvet. That's true. Aizen said that not all Malakim are humans who have been reborn, right? Does that mean they could be reincarnations of birds or fish or beasts? That's not, 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 not true! So, if a boy was a dog in a past life, that wouldn't make him part of the dog's family now. Yeah. I'm me, I guess. But you're Velvet's cute little pup, aren't ya? Mogilu. Be careful. I bite. Oh, have mercy! I take it all back, just don't bite me! Rebirth is like the Earth in Historia. You're simply built on a larger foundation. But that's not special. Everyone's lives are founded on the past. So, I'm just me. Yep. You're you, and no one else. You're Fee. Hey, first mate. Who is that horned demon with the old man? I don't know. I thought I felt something different about him. If only for just a moment. Did you feel it too? I said, I don't know. I see. <laughs> You're impossible, you know that? We've come across him before, but we never really fought him. My guess is Melchior is controlling him with some sort of illusion. I see. Then it's probably good you didn't fight. A straight battle against him wouldn't be an easy thing. How do you know that? Intuition. I have a nose for these things. There's something fishy about him. That scar on his face... It couldn't be. What's the matter, Aizen? You've gone pale. Forget it. It's nothing. We need to get out of here. Let's go. Super obvious plot point is what it is.
Don't let me out. Any boss fights here to block my way. We made it! I came here by ship. It's anchored by the southeast beach. Stop. Stop it, cat. Not a toy. But stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Attack my mouse. What's wrong with you. Raise you better than that. We will need to be extremely wary. Literally one attack? Give me a soul for the dog. I 
Horizon. Davis, come on. Didn't even see anything touch me. And he's dead again, of course. You need to stop attacking my mouse. Dark despair, kindle a beacon of Why can't I move? No. I can't die here. Surely you can die here. I'll have to prove it again. Keep that about a bitch. Really? We will need to be extremely wary. Smell like he's catching. <laughs> Old pizza. It's like coming from downstairs. I think it's coming through the vent. Skip this zone for now. They got wiped out by fucking trash. Got fucked up, son. What happened? used to play tag all the time. I won't let you get away, Velvet. You know me not! <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm scared! Stop it! You're turning him into a dragon! That was the whole reason I took him from Teresa. It's just another necessary sacrifice for peace. <gasps> okay. Inominat, you monster! Inominat to the front of us, a dragon to the back of us. Reaper's curse doesn't begin to describe it. What a shame. Is that despair I sense? Not on your life. It'll take more than this to make your big sister break. We barely know this fucker. The more you resist, the more you'll suffer. Velvet, let me punish this rotten little delinquent. 
You're just a Malak. You don't stand a chance. I'm not just any Malak. And I'm sick of murdering scum like you. I know no limits! For I am Zavid! Zavid! This is officially too damn much. We'll be fine. Take them out one by one! Them? I mean, them. It's one dragon. If only I'd been a larger vessel. Save your regrets for later. We're dead if we don't focus. Aye. Right. Bringing them a swift death would be a mercy. Thanks for letting me use the Mystic at the end of the combo there, where it would have been four. Still not letting me do it, but it's letting me get fucking stunned. Not bullshit me on the dragon fight, that'd be great. Okay. Seriously, how many times are you gonna not let me do this Mystic Art? Hello? Game. I'm gonna try a different mode. Nope. Mystic Art's disabled for this fight? Because I've been spamming it since the fucking start. Oh, okay. 110 presses later. Okay, so I guess that's just a auto stun thing. So I should be activating my shit as soon as that goes off. down in one push. I told you you would suffer. Safid. I'll hold off, you know me not. Everyone else, take out that dragon. There's well. no way you can face him alone. At least let me assist you. This isn't an order, it's strategy. I'm counting on you, Fee. For something that's a mere part of me, you're awfully uppity. I am the Mala Lafi set. I am my own. I miscalculated before. I won't hold back this time. And neither will we! 
But nothing's changed. We're still in the same bind. Everything's changed. He is trying to become Will someone new. It's a gamble. I'm in. Me too. You stay out of this. Your dumb coin always lands oh, on Oh, reset his light? Then you'll just Come on. Flip it over for Not cool. Not happening. You already had too much life. Everything in this fucking game has too much life. Especially considering they don't actually start fighting properly until they're at 1 4. Oh, really? Oh, you fucking bitch. It didn't affect me that time. Okay. Oh, got you. I 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 got you. I
do the thing. It's time to do the thing like before I almost get killed. So a lot of them. That's another way to do it. Cool. Favorite thing. I'm spamming that goddamn button and it just does not go off. So it's like right now with it not letting me miss the guard. For real. What the fuck is with this boss and not by me? There we go. Not even a fourth dead? Holy shit. To the fire for no reason. They didn't get a thing. Feel like doing the thing? Quarter point. Just 
Come on. There we go. That was only like five. That's the least yet. But he didn't direct that at me. That four souls. Target someone else first. So I can get my little soul. the thing. No, With the block? Wow. That's not a good one. And of course, killed off my Mystic Arc that I was trying to cast before, but it wouldn't pass because the game is fucking garbage. Just as bad as that one, uh, whatever the fight was where I counted 20 in a row where I couldn't do a mythic art. Wait, he's already in the middle of a different move. Also, I was spamming the goddamn bat. That was a double what the fuck. Start doing bullshit moves now. It takes way too long to get your life down. Gonna theranize? 
And Theranize now. Theranize now. Oh, it finally went off just in time. One, he said he's doing C's. Two, I was behind it. Three, what the fuck was that killing me on the res? The second time it said he's doing C's and then he suddenly was doing the Calamity Flare thing instead. Wait, where'd the other one go? Here's a fight with a ridiculously strong dragon with the ridiculous no, health not. pull. Also, your, your controls aren't going to work at all. It's going to go from about half the time to about 10% of the time. You talk big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't tell you! So be it. <sighs> if I devour you, we'll be one again anyway! The compass! She isn't! Yours! <sighs> Velvet is velvet! And you're just a fragment of me! Guys, look out! No! So that was your strategy. You've really done it now. I'll turn you into a dragon. See who's laughing then! What's going on? The malevolence burned away? We're leaving! 
leaving. Hurry. <coughs> Hey, there's still a, a red mark on that island. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? That thing may be a fragment, but it's still part of you. But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that, I never would have let my fragment lay a finger on me. So long as you learn from your mistake, such a ruse won't work a second time. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. As long as we stay wary, they pose no threat to our ideal world. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within your domain can stand against you without the power of the four elemental Empyreans. And they are fast asleep, far beneath the Earth pulses. Mm, don't tell me I have to go find all four of them. No. Not now. We need to make preparations for the ceremony of suppression. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. Even now, he resists on an instinctual level. However, he used to be known as the most fearsome pirate in all the seas. His strength is equal to any legates. You, capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First? First? Kill him. Kill Lafisette. Before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. <laughs> Well, that made for good training, at least. We fought an Armatus, an Empyrean, and a dragon. It's a miracle we're still alive. It's all thanks to Fee. He's still asleep. He must have used all his physical and mental strength. No, the fire no. that burns away malevolence. That's quite I'm the terror back on he's Southern got Island if I have to get, get the water in here. Is it because not Sure could be. In one sense, that's a lucky break for us. But on the other hand... <sighs> anyway, I lost that bet. And I was so sure I was gonna win, too. Awful lot of drama you're making over 100 gold. Don't you dare laugh off 100 gold! One with no respect for gold will be by 20 lions mauled. Everyone knows that. Right. Anyway, what do we do next? Nothing's changed. We seal Inominat away and kill Artorius. Even if Inominat has awakened, there must be a way to seal him back again. Our best lead is still Grimoire's ancient book. We should meet up with Benwick and the others. Are you sure you want to stay with us? I don't know if it's the right choice or not. But I refuse to believe Lord Artorius is right. That sacrifices are inevitable bumps on the road to a better world. That's why I'll do what I believe is right and fight him. Even if I'm wrong, I won't have any regrets. Do you have any idea how frustrating you are? Here one to talk. Aizen, get in touch with Benwick and the others. That demon. It had to have been. Aizen? I think we need a break more than anything. That was a long stretch of battle. Seconded. Besides, the boy and Zavid aren't waking up anytime soon. Let's find a place to sleep for tonight. Eleanor, look after Lafayette. Maybe you ought to carry him. He did all this for you. Please. Very well. We really have to find a place to sleep? We have a ship. Scout ship. You can at least carry the poor kid. 
Damn, you're cold. No, quite the opposite. Not the one I just saw. Not on Titania. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. Sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? And you pampered Velvet like crazy! It's your fault I lost! Really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope. Wasn't us. <sighs> Staying out of it is just as bad! If you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice! I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh? I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that Velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. 10,000. Uh huh. Hey, wait a minute. You both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks. Then you should have spoken up first. We well, can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet 10,000 that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling a witch cute? That's slander! You both owe me the money you bet as reparations! Wow, your selection sucks, dude. Pick these shoes because they're cute. So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> you're Pretty right. much it. If your soul has changed, Souls don't you're not exist, the same so... person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius' orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps... This is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep, I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. 
Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time, at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister. And Celica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. It. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... It doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. What? Luffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no, because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But, if I kill Inominat, Luffy said, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all... A compass? Hmm... Aizen! Why the hell didn't you say something? Hmm. <laughs> Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <sighs> I'm going. I've got to stop him! What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. Still right there, I, I see him. It may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. Prince Percival safely made it back to the capital. The Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead, along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. The Abbey's propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe! Hurrah! Hold up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renit saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. 
Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renied. So that story sounds plausible, at least. It does. And here I thought I was safe. So where did the Lord of Calamity go? <sighs> the Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go yeah. ahead. Talk all you like. Curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. I saw an Abbey ship heading toward the sea of no return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead, and monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, I heard a ship from some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but then again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away. So, something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, that poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. Hmm. My hand really hurts. I'm not ready for another fight. So I think it's break time. Okay. I'm in this. Maybe done for the night time. Cause yeah, my hand is fucking beat. That dragon fight slamming on the triggers with them not working for fifty fucking presses. With no exaggeration. If anything, I'm selling it short. Yeah. That kind of dumbed me in. I'm starting to feel it in my wrist again and down my arm, which is where it's really worrying me. I mean, it's just in the hand. I get it. I've been hitting shit a lot. Starting to, like, travel through the bone. I'm really stressing my shit. And I don't have insurance. So, yeah. America.